This is the new Bailey Pegasus Verona, and a very nice thing it is too. It's a classic near-side fixed bed model, and it's really quite pleasant. However, it's also really quite big. It weighs in at 1,450 kilos when it's fully laden. Now, bearing in mind that it's a couple's van, that really is quite hefty if all you've got to tow it is a VW Golf or a Ford Focus. So what do you do if you've got that kind of tow car, but you really fancy a fixed bed? Well, the answer is just over here. It's the Bailey Pegasus Moderna. It's a useful 175 kilos lighter than the Verona, so it should be within reach of an ordinary VW Golf or a similar sized hatchback at 1,350 kilos. It's also, rather helpfully, a thousand pounds cheaper than the Verona, yet it shares its near side fixed bed layout with a front lounge and an end washroom. It looks a whole lot fresher than the 2015 Pegasus, with these white side walls replacing the rather dated Magnolia, and the new graphics much better integrating that tall front window, which is one of the USPs of the model. It means that the interior feels really lovely and light, as we'll find out now. And here you have it. It's a great view out, even if you're standing up, which is highly unusual. The lounge itself is pretty good. This is a van designed for two people, so it's plenty spacious enough. Although I think if you had a family in here, it might feel a little bit tight. Bailey have got rid of the front chest to add a bit of extra space, but there is a little coffee table that pops here, so there's somewhere to put your snacks. And of course, there's a freestanding table in the cupboard, which you can bring out when you're having your meals. The lounge features Bailey's new Dream Sleep system, which is produced by Belfield, and it means you get a fantastic sofa with a domestic style high back during the day, but at night it's easier to produce a really comfortable double bed. Chances are, however, that this double bed is really only for guests. The real deal is towards the back of the van. Back here, it's a relatively conventional fixed bed layout. We've got a six foot three double, which incidentally is the same size as that front bed, and the usual cutaway down the side to help you walk through to the washroom. In fact, in the Moderna, that cutaway is a little bit bigger than it is in the Verona, but not so much that you'd notice. There's also masses of storage. We've got lockers around the top, a huge void beneath the bed, which obviously you want to avoid overfilling, otherwise you could upset the rig on tow, and opposite, a wardrobe and a rather neat storage point for that front dining table beneath the vanity mirror here. Moving forward to the kitchen, it's all fairly tight, but it's very neatly packaged. There's a separate oven and grill, a dual fuel four burner hob, and a good sized sink. Although there's not a vast amount of workspace here, there are two extra options. There's a lift up flap at the front, and on the other side, a really good sized sideboard. Plenty of space to prepare your veg and things. It's also going to be improved. Bailey has just told me that they're planning to lift it up to give a better height to cut on, and underneath they're going to put a cutlery drawer, which is currently missing from this kitchen area. Although there are a couple of shelves on the end here, there isn't any storage beneath. And that's because that is where Bailey has put the gas bottles for this van, in the centre to help it balance on tow. It's good to see two proper sockets in the kitchen and usefully sighted Truma gas controller. However, I'd rather the microwave wasn't sighted quite so high and directly over the cooker. Amazingly, the L-shaped washroom is exactly the same size as that in the Verona, which means there's plenty of room. Your knees might be a little bit tight to the vanity unit when you're on the loo, but otherwise it feels pretty spacious, and there's a huge fully lined shower cubicle. Like all Pegasus models, the Moderna features Bailey's Alutec construction system, and for less than £17,000, it's pretty well equipped. It's got Truma Combi heating, an external 230 volt socket, and alloy wheels. It does, however, lack the Alco ATC system for 2016, which has been lost in the makeover. That said, I reckon if you're a couple looking for a compact fixed bed van, this really ought to be on your shortlist.